Hey everybody, welcome to the new video. This is Max from Savu 133. In this video, we'll quickly talk about ideal land, whether to upgrade the buildings in the ideal land or to buy and unlock more buildings in the ideal land. Now this is kind of a confusing situation even for a coiner and a non-coiner. But let me simplify it for you. For a person like me, who's completely dependent on luck, I wanted to upgrade the drinking fountain, you know, because I found the higher the drinking fountain. It was the first building I got for free. So I said, you know what, let's focus on it. Right now, apart from drinking fountain, I have two more buildings. It's one of them is the love story. And the other one is the guardian Saint Patrick. Now, this love story costed me seven coins and it gave me 50 points. The guardian Saint Patrick also cost me seven coins and gave me 50 points. However, instead of these two buying these two units, I would have bought two more copies of Drinking Fountain to upgrade Drinking Fountain and that would have got me nowhere. Nowhere on my ideal land level. What I'm trying to say is that if I upgrade my ideal land uh, Drinking Fountain from level 4 to level 5, it is going to only give me 50 points benefit. But if I place three buildings at the same cost, it is going to give me, you get that right, 150 points benefit, straight away 100 point difference. Now, how does this work or how is this better? See, if you have the first or the second level of the building, that's 100 points. Good. You know, because it's just one plus one. From second to third is again 150 points, which is one plus one plus one one original second one for the upgrade and third one for the upgrade but moving from level three to level four cost you two units and at the same cost you can get 100 points but here you will be only getting a raise of 50 points so the investment is not worth so my recommendation would be only to go up to level three because when you go up to level three you are getting 150 points and you're getting minor increment on the buff. Here, when you go to the extreme level, I can tell you the buffs are going to increase massively. No doubt about it. But to get to the last level, you might just need like 40 or even more quantity of that. I'm just telling you, I may be wrong here. I may be wrong. But if you want to add up, okay. So at three, we have two quantity. 3 quantities, 4 quantities, 5 quantities, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm just guessing that you get, you, it cost you 9 quantity to get level, level 10. So 9 plus 8, that is 17. 17 plus 7, 24. 24 plus 6, 30. 30 plus 5, 35. 35 plus 4, uh, 35 plus 4 is 39. 39 plus 2 is uh 32 33 34 35 if i may be correct it should cost you like minimum 30 units to get to level 10 and if you have 30 units which means 30 different buildings <laughs> that's 1500 of ideal land points now let me tell you if i increase my ideal land level from level 1 to level 2 it increases my buffs by 5-5% of each type. And also, it just cost me 1000 ideal land points. So just think about this. Just think about this. Increasing the ideal land is going to be a way much better deal for you than to be increasing the level of the buildings in your ideal land. Yes, of course, going to level 3 is not a bad idea, right? Because the amount of coins you're investing and the amount of points you're getting is proportionate. But the moment you increase the level, the amount of coins you're investing versus the points you're getting goes down. And at a certain stage, you're investing more coins and getting less points. Even let's say if you're just doing it for 25 copies, 25 copies being spent on ideal land, one specific building, just, just giving you a number. If my prediction is correct 
when I spend 25 copies, the points I can have is 1250. Where else? Here it is only 800. That's straight up a difference of 450 points. So you imagine carrying 450 points or, you know, getting 1000 of math size of extra. Just, just think about it. Now, what would be for a non-coiner? For a non-coiner, I would say, you know, you are completely playing on luck. Unlock as many ideal land buildings you can because, you know, you're a non-coiner. For a coiner, I would be like, you know, it doesn't matter to you. Spend as much money you like, get as many copies you can and unlock whatever you want to unlock, right? This is where the coiner and non-coiner comes into the picture. Because for a coiner, getting ideal land to level 10 or 7, whatever is the highest, is not going to be a big deal. But for a non-coiner, getting this to level 5 is going to be expensive. Just look at this. If I want to bring it to level 5, I need 3 copies. That's 7, 7, 7, 21 coins. And when I invest 21 coins, I'm getting 150 points for the ideal land. In this case, when I invest 21 coins, I'm only getting 50 more points. In the long run, this is going to be happening maybe 3, 4, 5, 10 years down the line. It may happen without spending money. Like having ample of buildings in the ideal land. I actually miss out this event a lot of times like literally a lot of times I miss out this event a lot of times today I just made sure I because I you know I have a chance to get one more spin so I've been going for the last round but you guys get my point right even if you look at the packages over here it's not cheap hundred dollars is giving me like 30 spins and with the triple down it's giving me 90 spins and with 90 spins that is actually hundred spins I'm getting just a few more extras, like maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm getting nine spins extra. Technically, it's like total hundred spins you're getting for for hundred dollars. What are the chances of getting what we want? I don't know. It's not visible here, right? No, it's not visible. The best part is these coins will not be removed, so you can have them. You can accumulate them. For future events and when they collect a lot you can redeem one of them i like this part but what i don't like is that they have some other useless items like i wouldn't say any of these as useless items in my opinion they are totally useful but you can get them the other ways so i would rather focus on these coins especially for this buildings and all so to give you a simple conclusion I wouldn't, you know, differentiate between a coiner and a non-coiner because I also spend a little bit in the game. But to give you a simple differentiation, I would go for multiple buildings. Why? Because this is possible but expensive. And if we, you know, do multiple buildings, sorry, I need to go outside. If we do multiple buildings, this is possible. So think about it. Think about this. This is my opinion. This is my perspective. A uh, lot of you guys may have other perspectives and I'm not saying your thought is wrong. This game can be played multiple ways and there is no wrong or right way to playing this game. I had a conversation with one of the players, the smartest guy, and he, he gave me a quote. Now, I don't know from where did he get this quote, but he said in a race, it's not the car that wins the race. The driver does. And he made such a deep sense in this small statement that I realize what you decide to do with your account. You have your own reasons. You have your own choices. And you go for it accordingly. So likewise, to all my dear friends watching this video, thank you for supporting my channel. And if you have any more questions, do reach out to me. I'll try to put my contact details on in the description, which I always forget. And I might forget it this time as well. But otherwise, take care, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. This is Max from So 133 signing out.